just when you thought you heard it all about the moon and the moon being a hoax uh, with us going there and you know where's the flag somebody brought up a good question the other day well if the flag's up there still and we stuck it in the ground we should be able to see it very good point too bad we can't right exactly where they went well we have another piece of the mystery unraveling here a piece of moon rock that was given to Holland by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin has been deemed fake. Now these Apollo 11 astronauts it came back from their mission from the moon and one of the ambassadors, Jay Middendorf, had gave the Netherlands this rock and everyone thought it was real till recently and they come to find out that it is a piece of petrified wood. Now, how many other rocks do you think floating around the world right now people think are moon rocks or petrified wood? Because NASA gave out, more, gave out moon rocks to more than 100 countries following their missions in 69 and in the 70s. Now, granted, they could have sent an orbiter up there or something that we never knew about and got samples and got real rocks. But I think we all know that the official, what we see them try to pass off as them landing on the moon was 100% fake and fraudulent. To say they, ha they haven't been there, I don't know. I would say that they ha probably have, but not televised like they showed us back in the 60s. Uh, what's going on on that moon, I'd say, is pretty sinister, to say the least. And they don't want you to know. So this has gone so deep that the U.S. Embassy in The Hague, I mean, that's when you know it hit, it hit a nerve, is carrying out the investigation because if all if that one turns out to be petrified wood and then all the rest of them guess what the whole world's going to be looking at them like you fools didn't even go to the moon did you i'll leave a link as always till next time this has been dabu seven eyes open